thanks for joining me today. I'm very excited to be introducing to you our very special exclusive stamp and die set with art impressions. This adorable set is called Home and Heart and it has a series of sweet images that are perfect for making cards to give to your mom or to anybody for any time of year. I love that there are some really cute images that are good for get well cards, hugs, or just because. And there's a lot of great greetings as well. This is an exclusive limited edition set and it's only available while supplies last. There are dies included with it and it's a really versatile set. So why don't I show you the project that I'm going to be creating using it. I'm gonna take a couple of the smaller images from the stamp set, the birds and also the flower pot. And we're gonna stamp these onto some white cardstock. I'm using hammer mill white cardstock and I will stamp this a couple of times to make sure I get a really good impression. These are really detailed images and I wanna make sure I don't miss any of the beautiful illustrations. I did stamp the flower pot twice and I'm going to work on coloring these images using Copic markers. I'm using the packaging of the stamp set as a guide for the colors that I use in my coloring. I'm not gonna follow the packaging exactly, but it's a great resource to have as a general guide for what you wanna do for the coloring. So I used some blue markers to color in the sweet little birds, and I did bring in quite a few darker markers to add some intense shading in certain areas, and then I really lightened it up as it went towards the fronts of the birds along their face and their belly. The flower pot has a nice variety of spring flowers in it, and I'm gonna color these with very similar shades to those in the stamp packaging. I use some blue for the hyacinth, and then I'll also bring in some yellow for the daisy looking image here. Those small flowers on the left of the pot, I'm going to color in with pink. I use some light green colors to shade in any of the leaves. And if you're interested in any of the Copic markers that I used, I do have them linked below in the video description for you to check out along with all the other supplies that I used today. The pot that the flowers are sitting in, I thought would be really pretty to color with some grayish brown markers. So I'm going to use those to shade in the wooden slats. And then I'll also color in the bow with some blue markers that match up with the birds. So everything's very cohesive. I plan on coloring the other flower pot in the exact same manner. So that way I will have two matching flower pots that will flank the birds on either side. The last few touches were to color in the heart above the birds and their beaks. There are coordinating dies that come with the stamp set when you purchase it, and I'm going to use those dies to cut the images out. I'm using some masking tape to just hold the dies in place while I run this through my die cut machine, and I'll die cut the flower pots twice. Once we have our images cut, I'm going to stamp another image that I'm going to layer the birds and the flowers on top of. This happens to be from our Simon Says Stamp Delicate Floral Frames stamp set, and I'm going to use this oval image and stamp this onto some hammer mill cardstock with black ink. This is Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink, and this will be a nice grounding point for my images. Now, if you don't have this particular stamp set and you have a different frame set, I would encourage you to try that and see how it looks. I'm really just looking for something that's going to frame up my scene. I'm gonna use the coordinating dies to cut this out, and then I'm going to use a craft knife to cut around some of the flowers that are on either side of the frame. And that way I can tuck my flower pots into those flowers. And this will kind of add a little bit more dimension to the scene without adding any bulk. The craft knife I'm using is from Tim Holtz. It's a retractable craft knife and it's really good for getting fine detail areas like this. And I'm not worrying about making this cutting absolutely perfect. I just wanna make sure that there's a space for me to slide my flower pots into and also leave enough space for my birds to fit in between. So to attach everything down, I'm using foam tape and I'm going to attach the birds first and then I'll also stick the flower pots onto my scene with a bit more foam tape just to add some dimension. For the foam tape, I'm using some craft foam tape from Scrapbook Adhesives. And I'm just making sure that when I attach the flower pots down onto my project, that I'm not getting the foam tape below the leaves on the flower frame because I don't wanna make the flower frame more dimensional than the rest of the scene. I'm gonna use foam tape on the back side of this entire piece and pop that up on top of our pattern paper. This will get layered then onto a white card base, which is a side fold card base from Simon Says Stamp. The little heart above the birds does get die cut as its own piece when you use the coordinating bird die. 
So because of that, I need to make sure I glue this down with some liquid glue so it has a little bit of lift off of my card. I don't press this down fully into my paper so that way as the glue dries, it'll have a little bit of lift. To embellish my card a little bit, I did bring in some twine and I tied it across the top of my card into a little bow. This adds a nice bit of natural feel to the scene and also ties in really well with the bows on our flower pots. I'm pulling out one of the sentiments from the stamp set. The stamp set has a variety of really good sentiments in it, both for mom and also for anybody. And I really liked this greeting, so I'm gonna go ahead and stamp this down with Simon Says Stamp Embossing Ink onto some slate gray cardstock. And then I'll use white embossing powder to set that. And now we have this really nice bright white greeting on top of our gray. I'll use fine tip scissors to fussy cut this out, but if you don't wanna do any fussy cutting, you could have just cut this down into a simple rectangle. The sentiment is going to get popped up off of my card using a bit more foam tape, and I'm just gonna layer that over top of one of the flower pots. And that fits nicely right above the small bird in our scene. My final embellishment was to add a small button that I had in my stash. It's a clear button and it has a little bit of etching detail on it. So I thought that would add a nice bit of texture and sparkle as it catches the light. So once that dries, you won't see the glue behind here. And I absolutely loved how these sweet birds looked amongst these pretty flowers from the Home and Heart stamp set, an exclusive stamp set only available at Simon Says Stamp and was designed by Art Impressions. If you're interested in the stamp set, be sure to check out the video description below or head on over to our blog for not only info on the stamp set, but also additional inspiration by other crafters. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you again soon with more to share, but until next time, have a wonderful day. Bye.